Teachers and students are anxiously awaiting the day where, when students can get back to the classroom full time. No word tonight. And word tonight that 500 doses of the new Johnson & Johnson vaccine we heard the governor talking about are earmarked for Erie teachers. It could help speed up that process. Julie Hazel now in the control room with the story. Good evening, Jill. Now, Erie School District held their board meeting tonight discussing new announcements for their staff getting the vaccine and fixing some of the school's ventilation issues. Erie School District is planning to hopefully make way for more students in classrooms. We did have to start out the year 100% remote, um, and then we brought our elementary students back um, in February. Uh, so uh, we do have those students back on, on a, under a hybrid model. Unfortunately, our middle and high school students are still out uh, because of those ventilation issues. And have plans on continuing to fix those ventilation issues. The stimulus money that we have received and that we anticipate receiving um, in the next round of funding uh, will help us address those issues so we won't have this type of problem um, in the future. But that's not the only thing that can help students get back into the classroom. Teachers now have access to the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. We're just removing another hurdle in getting our kids back into the classroom and um, we know that's the most important place our students can be. According to Erie School District, a thousand staff members say they want to get vaccinated. Uh, that first round, uh, the, the allocation for the Erie School District is around 500 doses. Uh, so starting next week, we should be able to start getting our uh, staff members that want it vaccinated. And we anticipate having everybody vaccinated by the end of March. I think as we get, as we get further along with this and, and hopefully the cases continue to decline, We'll, we'll see more folks choosing the in-person option. Superintendent Polito says nothing compares to in-person instruction and is very excited to be one step closer to getting all our kids back to school every day. Now, in terms of the ventilation, there are plans in the works to bring those students back for fourth quarter because they can now open up the windows in those specific buildings. Jill. Okay, Julia, thank you.